some high-profile politicians are calling for a permanent timeout on TikTok. But for now, my ABC News colleague Eva Pilgrim has the best of all the fun and surprising content that was trending in 2023. This year, our social media feeds introduced us to new food trends. I call this girl dinner. Characters. I'm clocking out. <laughs> songs. I got one thing to say. And maybe a few personal favorites along the way. They're not joking when they call it the For You page. What is on your timeline is not what's on my timeline anymore. I have a hot lumberjack cutting wood. <laughs> Let's not ask any more questions about that. If you are a content creator, there is an audience for your content, no matter how niche it might feel. One of the biggest sensations that blew up this year, a beloved summer league baseball team from Georgia, the Savannah Bananas. In regular baseball, your role is to make the out and to get a good hit. But now it's to make the out, get a good hit while doing a trick play, while there's a ball on fire while there's all this crazy stuff going on around you and it's wild whether you're a baseball fan whether you're into popular music there's something for everybody when it comes to the savannah bananas they found a way to make the world's most boring sport interesting and i applaud them for that if you weren't eating hot dogs at the ballpark, maybe you assembled leftovers for one of the year's most popular trends, girl dinner. Mini Slim Jim, crumbs of hot fries. We're gonna add a pickle. Apparently I eat girl dinners a lot, according to my husband. This is my dinner. It's food, you gotta get the food in, and sometimes it's a chore. And so girl dinner is just, you know, little snacks put together, so I don't wanna hear anything about it. Girl dinner is delicious. And then there was this year's hottest new couple, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. I mean, I think the who, secret's out. Who's she here to see? I mean, I think, I think the secret's out. In one of 2023's most viral debates, Swifties playfully getting under the skin of NFL fans across the country. Like nobody knew who he was and she's like putting him on the map. No, <laughs> no what? What's wrong with you? He's like gonna be put on the map now. You kidding? No, football put him on the map. He's an NFL player. He's a Kansas City Chief. He's the tight end. He's a Super Bowl champ. Oh my God. Everybody knows who Travis Kelsey is. She didn't put him on the map. I literally never heard of him until yesterday. Men will joke all the time. Like, you know, I wish my significant other was into sports. We get into sports and you guys don't like it. Make up your mind. I feel like she like totally put him on the map. Like, no one even is, like, talking about him. <laughs> one ancient discovery in 2023, that there were quite a few of us thinking a lot about, well... How often do you think about the Roman Empire? All of that? Uh, maybe three or four times a month. <laughs> Whoever doesn't think that they don't think about the Roman Empire just doesn't know that they're thinking about the Roman Empire. So how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Like 75% of my day. That's a lot. I'm I'm surprised. I asked my fiance. He said, "Well, like once a week, as if that answer is appropriate." Do they do this at like the barbershop? Like, I where do guys talk about the Roman Empire? The recent Roman Empire obsession finding its way to SNL with actor Jason Momoa. I'm just thinking about the Roman Empire, ancient Rome. Five times a day, it pops into my dome. Ever since that meme came out, my interest in the Roman Empire has been decimated which reminds me that the word decimated comes from the practice from the Roman Empire. If they wanted to punish an entire army, they would kill one-tenth of them. But I don't think about the Roman Empire that much. From the Roman Empire to receptionists taking calls from the afterlife. I'm like, listen, F, you're great, but you're 102 years old. I can't keep extending the deadline. You know, people are gonna start to notice. <laughs> Taryn Delaney is a joy to watch. She's a former Miss New York. She does TikToks. One of her more popular TikTok series was Denise, who is Heaven's receptionist. Stacey, did you see Adam and Eve at the Afterlife Awards? Look at this. Look what he's wearing. Look, we all knew the girls got poor judgment. <laughs> the TikTok sensation has had a breakthrough year with fans viewing her videos nearly 40 million times. 
Did you see Days of Our Afterlives last night? I can't stand her. It's too bad they can't kill people off in that show. <laughs> and then people were sending in like, oh, my mom just died and this was what she loved and this was who she was as a person. And then Taryn would like be Denise for that person's mom. It was just so touching. How you doing? No, it's all right, come forward. I know who you are. You're Jerry, right? You are so loved. I'm already getting prayer mail for you. Oh my gosh, yeah, I got an inbox full of it for you to read. Denise has helped me so much, just like she's helped other people. She has really helped me see how much gentleness and love there is within people. I swear to my boss. <laughs> Did you get that one? No more jokes for the day, I'm done. And if you ever wondered what your pets were thinking, voiceover artist Bobby Johnson and his son have an answer for you. What did you do? Well, I told you don't leave, and you left, so I did what I had to do. The Texas-based father-son duo have amassed tens of millions of likes from fans around the globe for giving our pets a few thoughts of their own. When they're bored... What do you want? I want to go out. During our most special moments. He finna give it all up for her. Oh my God, he finna, he finna propose, y'all. Oh my God, he finna propose. I can't even do it. And when our little ones are in need of some. Help. Even some A list celebs joining in on the fun. Man, what multi millionaire will buy a dog a $5 squeaky toy? Dwayne, that's who bought. Oh, I didn't even know you was right there. Uh, what's up? Please. Uh, please what? Please stop. Yeah, whatever. You don't intimidate me, Dwayne. Uh, 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 can you hear what the dog is thinking, Rock? One of 2023's biggest breakout stars, Brian Jordan Alvarez. The multi-talented star broke through this year with his many characters brought to life with wigs, songs, and a face filter or two. There is so much life to live and so much more property to buy. I woke up at 5 a.m. lifting heaps, just absolutely massive heaps. Pop out on told y'all, no, no liquor on the pontoon. It has been, I think, undeniably the best year of my life. And it's sort of wrapped up with this song that I wrote in one of my characters called Sitting. Sitting, sitting is the opposite of standing. Sitting is the opposite of running around us. Sitting is a wonderful thing to do. I love that song. It's kind of like a nap. It's kind of like something else, but it is actually just sitting. When I posted it, it just started blowing up immediately. What really started to happen was pop producers started producing pop tracks of it. Sitting is the opposite of standing. Several times this year, my day would start by somebody sending a Brian Jordan Alvarez video to the group chat, and all of a sudden, I have this very quirky song stuck in my head, whether I want it to be there or not. There was a moment this year when I had a week where I was in Time Magazine, Rolling Stone, Vanity Fair, and I was on NPR. And I was like, well, I guess I made it. <laughs> But before we say goodbye to 2023, the heavenly receptionist Denise has one final message. Happy New Year, America, and may my boss bless you. All right, is that good? All right, that's it. That's the whole show. Love you, bye. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.